In Jammu and Kashmir, after seven months of house arrest, a former chief minister has been released. I'm talking about Farooq Abdullah. His detention under the Public Safety Act has been revoked. Is this a belated release or a threat to peace in the valley? That debate is already on. Let's try to put things in perspective for you. The five-time parliamentarian made an appearance today after seven months of detention. He held a brief interaction with the media. His wife and daughter were with him. This happened in Srinagar. Now, Mr. Abdullah is known for his sentimental outpours. But this morning, he seemed rather mellow. He held back on any political comments. Take a look. I'm grateful to you. I will answer no question, not speak on any political matter till everyone is released. It's only when they will be released that I'll be able to tell you on the political matters. The decision of Mr. Abdullah's release has been taken by the local administration of Jammu and Kashmir. This is a very important point. This is something which the Union Home Minister, Amit Shah, has repeatedly pointed out. He has been saying that the Jammu and Kashmir administration, the local administration, and not the centre, will decide on releasing political detainees. Naturally, an order was issued by the Principal Secretary to the Jammu and Kashmir government, Mr. Shalin Kabra asking for Farooq Abdullah to be released. For many in the political circles of Kashmir, this marks the first step towards restoring a genuine political process in the Union territory. After all, Farooq Abdullah is by far the senior most leader there. He's the son of a former chief minister. He's also the father of a former chief minister. That's Omar Abdullah. Omar Abdullah, by the way, is still in detention. So is another former chief minister, Mehbooba Mufti. Both of them... Omar Abdullah and Mehbooba Mufti have been charged under the PSA, that's the Public Safety Act. It's a debatable law which enables detention without trial for up to two years. A law which was almost always used against terrorists and separatists in the valley. But this time, it's the first time that mainstream politicians, especially former chief ministers, are being held under PSA, the Public Safety Act. Why, you may ask? We've been here before. Because the authorities feel that they are a threat to public order and normalcy. They fear that these leaders, through their speeches, could, could incite violence. Well, do they? We raised this question with BJP National General Secretary Ram Madhav at the Vion Global Summit last week. This is what he had to say. Five, six leaders are still in detention. They will also be let off. I mean, we don't have any intention to keep leaders behind bars for a very long time. Like uh, in the past, they will be let off. But let me tell you that they should be let off is not the demand coming from the people of Jammu and Kashmir. The people of Jammu and Kashmir do not want their release, says Mr. Ram Madhav. Won't it be wise then to let the same people of Jammu and Kashmir decide the future of these leaders through elections. And what has changed between yesterday and today? Do these leaders, or Mr. Farooq Abdul at least, not pose a threat to public safety? That's a question that the government has chosen not to answer. This will be the biggest step in setting the record straight on the government's intent.